What's up, YouTube? Monster1911 checking in on this beautiful April the 27th. Um, hope you all are having a great day. It's Wednesday. Um, beautiful day out where I am. Uh, it's a great day to be alive, people. Uh, obviously, I'm coming to you today because this is the review on the Jordan 10 NYC. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see right there, got all the packaging. I was able to pick this up without a problem this morning. Um, it's coming out, what, a couple different days. It's coming out today. Then it's also going to release on the sneakers app on the top. But again, the colors, as you may know, we got black, black, dark gray, and metallic gold. Typical 23 packaging. There she blows. Mm. And one thing I did notice, like a lot of people say in some of the reviews you may have seen on hand, is that when you have this in hand, you really do notice that it's uh, very different from the OVO. There's a lot more of that, that gray tone um, that sometimes cameras and videos won't really pick up. I actually got there early enough because in one of my shoes on the right side, I felt like in the toe area, there was a little bit more gray than it was in the black and it didn't quite match the, the, uh, the other shoe. So they were kind enough to let me kind of mix and match. So make sure if you all pick these up, you definitely think about doing that. Um, as you can see, you got the tumble leather, leather on the inside, then with that smooth grain leather also, the NYC. Um, then, as a lot of people notice, one of the distinguishing differences is uh, that gold pull tab right there. So, you got that, then obviously you got the gold flakes under the bottom uh, with, the comp with the accomplishments all the way up to 1994. I love tens. Just don't understand nines and tens. I understand some people, you know, they really don't care for them, but it was just something about them that really just resonated with me. So, gotta get them. Also, have a surprise coming. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to discuss that in uh, a review tomorrow. But yeah, like I said, this is the latest pickup. One ninety after tax, you know, about 205, 206, depending on where you live. So, yeah, very clean. Should be very simple to kind of coordinate with, depending on what you want. And uh, they had different things that that uh, you could have got with them. You know, they had the shirts and the hat. I actually like that hat. I may go to Foot Locker and pick it up later. I had like a VIP 15 off uh, coupon from them, so I may leverage that get a hat or something. But yeah, together you see the Jumpman, very similar uh, to the OVOs in that regards, but everything else is pretty different. You got the pull tabs. You got, can you, hopefully it's picking that up. Like I said, it's black, but that definitely is that hint of that, uh, was it metallic gray? Yeah, or just gray, I think it called it. Yeah, there definitely is a, a big hint of that going on, so. Trying to make sure you all get some, some quality details in this. And you kind of see it at that angle a lot. Like it's black, but then you see that hint of that gray in there. So, you know, it's almost, I wonder, was this like some 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 fall back from uh, the Statue of Liberties a couple of years ago and they kind of doctored them up and made this and said, oh, let's call this the NYC. Could be, could be me speculating, but you know. Like I said, very nice shoe. Very good detail all the way throughout. On the inside, uh, there it is right there. Got the Air Jordan, and that says City Collection. Yeah, hopefully you can see right underneath the bottom there. So that's on the inside. Then the typical gold Jumpman on the inside, sizing right there. So. Yeah, this is the NYC 10 right here. You know, I plan on taking a trip uh, to New York 
in September, so I'm definitely going to make sure I have these with me. Um, but yeah, this is my take on it. Uh, very well worth it. Again, you got the um, speckle bottom uh, with the gold flakes in there. Then you got the smooth, all black. Um, then you got a little tumble leather. Then you have that smooth grayish black leather also. And then tumbled again, and then the tumble tongue. So again, 190 it retails for, um, very well worth it. And a couple other things, um, obviously, I always do my brought to you by, today I have on the uh, Kobe 11 Low Eulogies. Uh, didn't get the uh, the other Kobe's. Actually, didn't even try on the sneakers out, but I like these with the eight and the 24 on the back. I'll put some photos in there of that also. And Another thing that I just kind of want to give you all a shout out on is right now, Levi's is running a sale right now where if you spend 150, you get 35% uh, off plus free shipping. They had joggers and different things like that on there. So, uh, you know, check that out. I think it's a 48 hour sale. Depending on where you live, you have about as little as uh, under nine hours and as many as 12 remaining. Yeah, this is Wednesday, the 27th of April. So uh, my take on the Jordan uh, 10, New York City, uh, please subscribe, uh, click the like button. Just starting at this, been collecting for a while, but trust me, there's plenty more things to come. Again, it's Monster 1911. It's the channel, the name, uh, win the day. Hope everybody is doing well and continue to do the best you can do. And, uh, you know, just grind it out. Thank God for discretionary income.